Good afternoon, Alpha Street. It is Holy Monday, and our scripture reference will come from Matthew 21, verses 12 through 17. Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all who bought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he said to them, it is written, my house shall be be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. But when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying out in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant and said to him, do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, yes, have you never read out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise. Then he left them and went out of the city to Bethany and he lodged there. Out of the shouts of Hosanna, meaning save us, we see our Savior transitioning from the streets among the people to the inside of the temple where there is greed taking place at the expense of the poor. Imagine that. The poor are being taken for granted. The poor being exploited. The poor being taken advantage of and the church allowed it. Traditionally, it was okay to exchange money that came from different regions because foreign coin was not accepted into the temple. It was okay to purchase animals for sacrifice because it was hard for persons to transport, especially after a long journey into Jerusalem, and the money made went for the upkeep of the temple. Animal sacrifices as an offering was just like our tithes and offerings unto God, taken by the priest to satisfy the sin of the person and an act of worship, which was what was going on. But Jesus drove out all who sold as well as those who bought. Why? Maybe because they were seated in the court entrance and this could have taken place away from the temple. Maybe they appear that they appear that you are just appeasing the system, buying because it's expected of you to have something in your hand to give, and they came unprepared. The text says, and he said to them, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Right here, Jesus quotes Isaiah 56, which refers to the people being welcomed into the temple who desire to keep the Sabbath without defiling it. At the end of chapter 56, the oracle refers to irresponsible leadership. They are blind and ignorant and full of greed and gluttony. The passage should have been familiar to leadership because they were astute in the Torah. And by quoting it, Jesus flubbed his nose at those buying and selling goods, but also the leaders who allowed it. For the life of me, I didn't know where, okay, so where's the thievery? You have made it a den of thieves. Where's the thievery? Well, Were they price gouging? Were they taking advantage of the demand and making a profit instead of an even exchange? Possibly. But also Jesus was referring to stealing of worship. What do I mean by that? Their focus should have been on worshiping God, not necessarily what you have in your hand. Their focus was too much on what they had in their hands and dismissed the reason they were to come to the temple in the first place. Not because of tradition, not because you will be looking or look differently if you didn't go, but because you're seeking the Lord with a pure heart, because you stand in need of healing and you come to the only one who can heal you. The text says that the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. Jesus being considered a lay person, could not go into the holy center of the temple, so he stayed out in the courtyard. And before the people could get to the priest, they came to him instead. They came freely without the animal sacrifice. They came for healing. They worshiped. The people sought the Lord and came authentically. No pretense. 
and something about coming to the Lord with authenticity. No mask, no title, no bravado or pride. There's no need for all of that because he sees right through you anyway. So why not come truthfully? They may not have been able to get in without purchasing a sacrifice before. And there's something that just doesn't sit well with me with this statement. Purchasing a sacrifice. You can't purchase it. It has to be felt by you or else it's no sacrifice at all. If it is not personal and you are not attached to it, how then could it be that you can be freed from any kind of sin? if you haven't touched it. You can't buy your freedom. There is only one who could do it. There is nothing you can buy that will give you salvation. David said, I will not offer burnt offerings to the Lord my God that which cost me nothing. Not necessarily money, but the cost is personal. The text says, but When the chief priests and the scribes saw the wonderful things that he was doing, they were indignant. They took notice of the healings taking place. The people went to Jesus and not to them. That should tell you something. They came to Jesus, not the ministers, not the deacons, but the Lord. And the children were crying out in the temple saying, Hosanna to the son of David. Hosanna meaning save us. They cried to him, save us, son of David. And leadership was sorely angry. They asked them this one question, do you hear what these are saying? They asked because what are they really saying? They have put you on a pedestal. They have put you on the line of David, which means kingship. They have elevated you above us. And Jesus said to them, yes, I heard what they said. Have you never read Psalm 8? Out of the mouth of babes and nursing infants, you have perfected praise. Jesus refers to the people as babies and infants. There's purity in children. There is no pretense. They say exactly what's on their mind. No mask, no filter, and they have no problem telling you what they want. They came to him as children purely, truthfully, innocently. And Jesus said to come to him as children. Jesus removed the barriers and obstacles and constructs and said, Come unto me. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden. Come to me with your problems and concerns. Come to me with your grief and loss. Come to me with your relationship issues. Come to me with your health issues. Come to me with COVID-19 and your worries. Come to me as authentically, truthfully, and purely as children because your salvation is free, but it will cost me everything. Amen.